Welcome. Here is Corey from the team from uh, Empathic Way Europe. And I'm here with Kerstin Closer Pitcher because she will take part in Time for Empathy, which is happening from the 6th to the 13th of March 2022. And I'm very honored and very happy to have you in, in the team and that you, you are offering a workshop this time again. It's not your first time that you are part of the team. Um, who is Kirsten? I just I just say a few words from how I know you and what I really appreciate about you. Because uh, Kirsten is a yeah she's certified trainer for nonviolent communication and many other things also, but this is the that is the main focus. She's also coach and and business counselor <laughs> and very much into community building and the space holding for processes like this and peace carer in this world. And I very much appreciate you um, because of your leadership skills, actually. I mean, that's the biggest thing for me is how you live inspired leadership or inspiring leadership, like really sharing, sharing the leadership skills and putting people into their own power. And uh, so hmm. this is, I guess, one, there's many other things, but this is the biggest nugget I see in you. So. Yeah, would you like to share a bit what why are you doing the work you do and what your heart is calling for? Yeah, thank you so much, Corey. Such a such an honor and also such a pleasure to be reminded also of our journey together that we've been journeying through in various different projects in different countries. Um, yeah, so what is my heart um, calling me? Why, why do I do the work that I do? Um, I found myself often in a place of finding it very difficult to connect to, to people, to the world, to understand something. So I, I really know how it can feel to, to think that you're completely by yourself in various situations. If you're like doing brilliant things and standing in the front, or if you're standing in the far back, and I realize this is actually often not a, not a big difference for me. Um, and so finding ways to connect and finding ways to, um, to connect so that we do find the support to be able to do what we need to do is one of my major um, focuses in my life. And it all comes from kind of a lived experience of just knowing that we all need support to, to do the things that we do. Um, and yeah, so connecting across differences, connecting across age groups is just one of the most inspiring things. And just working on these little wheels and inviting the energies of the groups and kind of sensing what's needed next. Uh, it's just such a, it's such an adventurous journey. Mm. Yeah, there's many pictures already coming into my mind when you're naming this, like, and it's also related to what you want to offer maybe like this uh yeah working with pictures and how powerful it is and with metaphors and can you tell a bit about the thing you are going to offer in time for empathy week yes mm -hmm. um yeah actually i want to talk about um more ways of um, building an empathic connection so it's it's also kind of coming from my story of having lived or having grown up in a world where needs words or feelings words were just completely unexistent. And when used, then they were kind of put in a particular kind of, oh, these are these people who are using these kind of words. So it was kind of judged to talk about feelings and needs. And so I know exactly how it is to, uh, to live with people where it is so extremely hard to just not share the same language. Um, so I've journeyed and I've found NVC and I've found my needs words uh, when I was probably 30, but to then look back and then you find your particular people you can connect exactly in this vocabulary, but there are so many more people. And so for me, there's always this kind of quest that I have in my head of what else can we find to build an empathic connection, because it's not just about Oh, you don't need you don't know about needs words, um, so we cannot connect. 
Mm. So this is a one way. And I want to challenge myself to become more and more and more creative so that I have more and more and more ways to connect with other people and not just think that I found my truth. I have my kind of processes and I have my feelings and needs words. And the people who don't get that, uh, I can't connect to those guys. I find it's such an important thing once you have reached a point in yourself, which I have, where I'm utterly trusting that connecting to your own needs is the way to go, is the way to my spirituality, is the way to find my way forward, to connect to my life energy, to find my direction. Um, and with this knowledge, I want to find various different ways to yeah, to just build connection to other people who are maybe not there. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I will join for sure. <laughs> I mean, I guess I will host your, your session. <laughs> yeah, I love which to is on the <laughs> 9th of March at 4 p.m. And I really love, I really love the idea. I, I mean, I really love the, the concept. And as, and as I know you also, like how you really care for, yeah, connecting beyond, like really inclusion and it's and also in the work when you when you yeah just connect there's so many different cultures and mo so many like subcultures in i mean just in us it's already a lot of different things going on but also in the outside world and it's so meaningful to find to to stay curious and not knowing already everything but stay curious and find different ways and different bridges to yeah to connect by staying, staying connected to the core at the same time. Yeah, so I love your proposal. Thank you so much for offering this. So welcome. Yes, during this. I'm really looking forward. <laughs> yes. So every one of you who wants to join this and want to have some time with Kirsten and dive in to the work of metaphors and yes, finding finding connection. Um, it's on the 9th of March at 4 p.m. You can register on Time for Empathy website and uh, you will find also, so you will find the link under the video or above or wherever for the registration for Time for Empathy. It's free. And I will also put in the, the link for Kirsten. You can di contact directly also, maybe subscribe to a newsletter and stay connected to her work also outside of Time for Empathy. So thanks for being here. Thank you, Kirsten, and see you all. Yes, see you. <laughs>